Lamb, imagine it as a tiny sun spreading brightness in our heart. The lamp is like knowledge. When we share it, it doesn't get smaller. Instead, it always makes things brighter. Let this light remind us that learning is like adding. As we illuminate this lamp, let's also light up our minds with kindness. May this flame guide us to the night of ignorance and may the warmth it brings bind us together in the joy of learning. Let the light shine on our journey ahead. lovely people to our annual cultural evening. Over the years, a lot has changed in the world around us and this humble program is perhaps going to reflect them. I particularly wish to thank our chief guest for sparing his precious time to be with us this evening. Colvin Talukdar's college appreciates your invaluable contribution and thanks you not just for being here but for everything you have done for the revival of this glorious institution. We hope to continue receiving your blessings in the future as well. I would be failing in my duties if I did not point out here how much this institution owes to Raja Sahib of Mankapur. He has stood like a rock us in so many different ways so that the institution can secure its place among the top schools of Lucknow. Colvin Talukdar's college is on the cusp of an important transition and we seek your cooperation and good wishes as we attempt to revive the old glory of the college not by replicating what we have always been doing in the past, but by introducing new ideas that are relevant to the contemporary world. Even in the days when most of our patrons had turned their faces away from us, we had two great assets, our infrastructural resources and our old boys not to mention the management's unshakable resolve to raise Colvin like a phoenix out of the ashes of ignominy until it spread its wings again and began to soar in the open skies. The programs you are about to witness are just an indication of the new spirit that has taken over Colvin College in recent years. We are now a co-educational English medium school. 
we are accepting girls into our boarding houses. Next year, we are beginning with the humanities stream in class 11. We intend to begin teaching skill subjects like coding, robotics, drone technology, and artificial intelligence in our regular teaching periods in the near future. Apart from this, sporting activities are going to be organized throughout the year, not just at the end of the year. Students will be encouraged to join clubs in literature, history, quizzing, debating, dramatics, equestrian and aquatic events will gradually be included in the cock house tally, apart from shooting and archery. Students should be encouraged to join our sports academies at a time when an entire generation of children is stuck to the colorful screen of the mobile phone. One library has already been made and the senior library is to be revamped soon. A multi-purpose hall has been planned for the school where inter-house and intra-class co-curricular activities can be properly held. We really look forward to your kind support in spreading news about the resurgence of Kalvin Talukdars in your respective communities so that more good students can be enrolled. I welcome you once again and hope you have a great time looking at our tiny bundles of joy making an effort to entertain you. Thank you and God bless Kalvin Talukdars College and all of us. Thank you. इन शिक्षात्मक और कलात्मक कार्यों की शुरुआत में की जाती है, जिससे विद्या और कला में सफलता प्राप्त हो। इस वंदना की शुरुआत एक अद्वितीय स्तोत्र से होती है, जिसमें गोदेवी सरस्वती की कलाओं, बुद्धिमत्ता की और विद्या की स्तुति होती है। या कुदमेंदु तुषार हार धवला या शब्द सरस्वती माता की पवित्रता और शांति को सूचित करते हैं। सरस्वती वंदना की नृत्य भी इस प्रार्थना को साकार रूप से अभिवादन करते हैं। इसमें गीत शीलता, सौंदर्य और भक्ति का एक अद्वितीय मिश्रण है। नृत्य एक भाषा है जो हमें सरस्वती की कृपा और आशीर्वाद में भागीदार हम सरस्वती वंदना के साथ करेंगे।
wishing a wonderful evening. Hello, I am Srijan Tiwari and will now make you all boogie boogie with a little convenience. Boogie boogie is a fun and energetic dance that will get your body moving to the beat. Boogie boogie has certain similarities to Lindy Hop and originated in 1950s in Germany when the music shifted from the swing to the more fast paced rhythm in blues and rock and roll music. <laughs>
the proposal. A Russian play by Anton Chekhov. The proposal is quite unexpected in the house of Mr. Chubakov. What happens next? Let's sit back, relax and watch. How are you? And so on and all that. I'm extremely glad to see you here. Uh, I'm well, thank you. And how are you getting on? Oh, we're just getting by somehow. Thanks to your prayers and all that. Now sit down, please do. Now, as you know, uh, but why are you so formal? What's the occasion? Why in this evening dress, this gloves and so on? Are you going somewhere? No, no. I've only come to see you, honest past Panovich. Oh, then why in this evening dress, my boy? Well, you see, it's, it's, it's like this. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I've come to you, honest past Panovich, with, 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 the, with the request. So, 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 so to speak, I beg your pardon. I'm very nervous and if you don't mind, I'll drink some water on our Spats Panovich. Oh, if he's come to borrow money, he's sorely be disappointed. What is it, my dear friend? You, you see, on our Stepanich, I, I, I mean, Stephen Andrich, pardon me, I'm, I'm shaking nerves as you can see and I haven't any right to expect your assistance. Oh, don't beat around that bush, boy. Spit it out and well, uh, uh, a minute. The, the fact is, I've come to ask for the hand of your daughter, Natalia Stepanovna, in marriage. Oh dear God in heaven! Jan Vizelvich, such a lie! Can you say that again? I'm not sure, I heard it right. I have the honor to ask? Yes, indeed. Oh, I'm so glad! <laughs> My boy! And, yes, indeed. And now for other things. Oh, I've been hoping for this for such a long time. Such happiness, oh, God bless you both and all, so on. Look at me, I'm driving like an idiot. Oh, you rascal, I'll go and call Natasha. But, but Stepan Stepanich, do you think I may count on her consent? Why? Of course she'll consent. She's in love and so on. I won't be long. It's, it's really cold. I'm, I'm trembling all over. I, I need to resolve myself. Seriously? I need steely determination and if I hesitate, I'm finished. If I take time to look for an ideal wife or, or, or real love, I'll never get married. This <sighs> is really cool. Natalia Stepanova is an excellent housekeeper. She's not bad looking and she went to school. What more could I want? Oh, but, but, but I'm getting that ringing in my ears again. In any event, I need to get married. Well, hello there. It's only you. Papa said, go inside. There's a merchant come by to collect his goods. 
How have you been, Ivan Veselovich? I've been well, honored Natalia Stepanovna. You must excuse my apron. We are shelling peas for drawing. Why haven't you been here for such a long time? Please sit down. Won't you have some lunch? No, no, thank you. I've had some already. Please smoke if you like. The weather is glorious now. But yesterday it was so wet that the peel ants couldn't do anything all day. Why? Look at you. You're in evening dress. Well, you do look nice. Are you going to a party or something? Tell me. You, you, you see, on uh, Natalia Stepanovna, the, 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 the fact is, I've, I've come to see if, 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 if you would, I mean, I mean, to, to ask you to hear me out. Of course, you'll be surprised and might even be a bit ha angry. But, 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 but I, this is really cool. What's the matter? Well? You, you must know, Natalia Stepanovna, that I have long, since my childhood in fact, had the privilege of knowing your family. The Lamos and the Chubukos have always had the friendliness of regard for each other. My land borders, yours. My oxen made a stretch of virtue in the bed. One moment, please forgive me for the interruption. But you said, my oxen meadows? What really, are they yours? <laughs> yes, they are mine. What are you talking about? Oxen meadows are ours, not yours. No, mine, order Natalia Stepanovna. Well, I never knew that before. How do you make that out? How? I'm talking about the oxen meadows on that tiny patch of land which between your birch wood and the burnt marsh. Oh, really? Just wait a minute. I can show you the documents, Natalia Stepanovna. There's nothing to argue about, you see. My aunt's grandmother gave the meadows for free to your father's grandfather's peasants. For which in return, they made bricks for her. The peasants used the land for 40 years and got into the habit of regarding them as their own. When that should belong... You are wrong! Both my grandfather and great grandfather reckoned that the land extended to the burnt marsh. Which means that the meadows were ours. There is no point in arguing. It's I simply ridiculous. I can show you the papers, Natalia Sopinovna. Oh, I see. You're just making fun of me. This is a big joke. Those meadows aren't even valuable. They only come about to 12 acres. But that is not the point. It's about unfairness and I can not stand unfairness. Didn't you hear what I said? Your father's grandfather's peasants used to bake bricks for my aunt's grandmother. Now my aunt's grandmother being a decent woman. Who cares about this grandfather and grandmother's business? Oxen meadows are ours and that is all there is to it. They are mine. Ours. You can go write it until you're blue in the facing wear 15 dress jackets. Oxen meadows are ours, ours, ours. If you like it, I'll give them to as a gift. If there is any giving to do, I'll do it because they're mine. I cannot believe your behavior. Last year we lent you a threshing machine which meant us putting up our own threshing till the weather. Now you treat us a little bit gypsies, giving me my own land indeed. I don't really find that neighborly. In fact, I think it's downright insulting. Oxen meadows are mine. It's not true. They're ours. They're mine. It's a lie. I'll prove it to you. I'll send a motion to Meadows this very day. What? My moors will be there this very day. I'll break the negative set foot on my land. You dare. Oxen meadows are mine. You understand? Mine. Please don't shout. I expect you to behave as a gentleman in my house. If it was a feather, excruciating palpitations, and the throat of the running marriage running through me, and my temples were bursting down, I talk in a very different way. Oxen meadows are mine. Ours! Mine! Ours! Mine! What's that? What's all the shouting for? Papa, please tell this gentleman who owns the oxen meadows, him or us? The meadows are ours. But, Stephen Sipanish, how can they be yours? You see, my aunt's grandmother gave the meadows for free and temporary use of her grandfather's peasants. They used the land for 40 Excuse years. Excuse me, you forgot then that the peasants didn't pay your grandmother bell, and so on. The meadows were in dispute for the last 40 years. And now, every dog in the village knows that they're ours. I'll prove it to you that they're mine. You won't prove it. I shall. I'll decide whether I have the right or not, because, young man, I'm not used to be spoken to in that tone of voice. I, young man, am many years your senior. So I asked you to speak to me without getting yourself into a state. No, you think I'm a fool and you want to take advantage. Stephen Stepanis, you're, you're not a neighbor, you're a land grabber. What? What's that? What did you say? Papa, send the most of the meadows at once. What did you say, sir? Oxen meadows are ours and I'll never give them up. Never, never, never. We we'll see. I'll have the matter taken to court and then we'll see it belongs to. Oh, to court? You go ahead and get it to court. Well, the most were like that. 
Your family is famous for suing anybody and everybody. Keep my family out of this. The Lamorans have always been an honorable, law-abiding people. Not, not like some of mentioned, like, like your grandfather who was arrested for embezzlement, for instance. All you Lamorans are all crazy, all of you. All, all, all. Hey, your grandfather was nothing more than a drunk. And your younger aunt ran away with an argy deck. That's right, an argy deck. And, and, and my mother was a hunchback. Oh, my God, something's spinning outside. My, my head is pounding. I need water. Oh, your father was a gambler and a cheat. And your aunt was a gossip and a backbiter. My, my first cry now. You're a snake and... My heart. It's an open secret that before selections, you, you bribe. My eyes are gone bloody. Where's my hat? It's low, it's dishonest, it's mean. And you're just a malicious two-faced liar. Hey, where's my hat? My, my hat. Which way? Where, where's it go? Oh, I think I'm done. I told uh, they were set for my house again. Take it to court, we'll see. You can go to hell now. Creep. Crook. That monster. First she takes our land and then he has the cheek to abuse us? And that, that upstart, that monkey brain has a confound nerve to make a proposal and so on. A proposal. What proposal? Why? He came here to propose you. Propose to me? Why didn't you tell me that before? Oh, that's why he was just in a silly costume. That stuff sausage. He came to propose to me. Oh my god! <laughs> Bring him back, oh my god! Get him back, oh my god! Please make him come back! Make who come back? Come on, come on. Go, get him! Hey, don't yell at me! What's the matter? Oh, what have I done? I have hanged myself! I shoot myself! I'll hang myself and then shoot myself, oh my god! I'm dying! Get him! Hey, don't yell at me, I'm going! <laughs> He's coming. He's coming back. Now, talk to him yourself this time. Get him! Hey, don't yell at me. He's coming, I told you. It is your fault. He's not, hey, it's not my fault. Talk to him yourself this time. But my heart's beating wildly. My, my foot's going to sleep. There's something he's pulling my side. Forgive us, Ivan Vesovich. Now I remember. Oxen Meadows really are yours. We were all just a little heated. My, my, my heart's bursting. My, my meadows. But both my eyes are twitching now. Yes, the meadows, they're yours. Do you sit down. We were wrong. I did it on principle. The, the land is worth little to me. But, but the principle. Yes, yes, principle. Let's talk about something else now. I have the evidence, you see. My aunt's grandmother gave the letters to her father's grandfather's presents. Yes, yes, that's enough. I wish I knew how to start. Uh, will you be going hunting this season? I'm thinking of having a go at the geese and the grouse after the harvest. Oh, have you heard? My best of guesser has gone lame. What a pity. How did it happen? I don't know. He must have twisted it or got pretty much another dog. He's my very best dog to serve nothing how much he cost me. I gave Mirno 125 ribbons for him. You were robbed, Ivan Vesovich. I think it was a bargain. He's a first-rate dog. Papa only gave it five for his own Messer. And Messer is much better than Gesser. <laughs> Messer better than Gesser? See, seriously, Messer better than Gesser. Of course he's better. Messer is still young. But on points of pedigree, there is no comparison. But, but, let Alistair pronounce that. You, you forgot that Messer is an overshot jaw. And an overshot jaw means that dog is a bad hunter. Overshot, is he? That's news to me. I, I assure you, his lower jaw is shorter than his upper. You have measured it, haven't you? Yes, he's all right at chasing the pack, but if you want him to get hold of something... First of all, our Messer is a thoroughbred animal, the son of Lesser and Stresser, whereas your Gesser is the son of Slasher and Pusher and has no pedigree whatsoever. He's just a flea-brain old wreck. He's old, but I will take five messes for him. Ivan Vesselvich, are you being obnoxious today on purpose? First you pretend that the meadows are yours, now you're saying that Gesser is better than Messer? I hate people who refuse to face facts. Uh, you must know that 
Mercer is a hundred times better than your ridiculous castle. I see, Natasha Penola, that you consider me either blind or stupid. No. You must realize that Messer is an overshot. It's not true. It is. It's not true. What are you shouting for? What are you lying for? Kessler is only fit to be shot and you dare compare him with Messer? <laughs> Excuse me. I, I never continue this, this discussion. My hand is now located in the game. You are typical of those hunters who are all tall but useless when it actually comes to hunting. Shut up! My hand is bursting. I won't. Shut up! That's that! That's the matter now! Baba, tell us truly, which is a better dog? Our messer or his guesser? Dear Mr. Panel, just tell me one thing. Is your messer an overshot or not? Yes or no? And suppose he is. Why does it matter now? Is the best, is the best dog in the district, and so on. But, but isn't my guesser better? Tell me honestly. Oh, don't be excited yourself, dear boy. Allow me. The guesser has certainly made good, its good points. His burger, fire on his feet, and spells from ropes. But if you want to know the truth, the dog has two defects: his old and his sharp in the muzzle. Oh, my heart! What sort of a hunter are you? You are better off lying in a darkened room than chasing after foxes. <laughs> oh, my heart! I know, what sort of hunter you are. Oh, let's change the subject in case I lose my temper. And really, you're not a real hunter, are you? And, and are you a real hunter? You only go hunting depending with the cow and around his wealthy friends. You're, you're a sneaky social climber, right? A shotgun? What are you saying? Snake! Young brat! Oh, yeah! Oh, son of a bitch! You're like a bad bitch! There, 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 there it is! My, my, my house burst. My, my shoulder's coming. I'm, I'm dying. Call a doctor. Hey! My heart's pounding. You can't even ride a horse properly. Papa, what's the matter with him? Papa, look! Papa, he's a little witch! He's dead! He's dead? He's dead! Hey, doctor! Dead. Doctor! Hey! Drink this. Oh, he's not drinking this. What have I done? Why do you have to die? Give me a knife. Give me a pistol. Oh my god. What have I done? Oh, he seems to, he seems to be coming around. I think, I think he'll live. Hey, hey, drink this. I see stars. It's, it's very bloody. Where am I? Hey, hey, just now, now just listen. Just hurry up and get married. She's, she's willing. Hey, what, what? Who? Hey, she says yes. Just go on and marry her. Oh, you're alive. Yes, yes, I, I'm willing. Hey, ex excuse me. What's going on? Oh, now I remember. My, my, my heart. Stars, I'm, I'm happy, but, but Natalia Shepinovna, my foot's quite numb. I, I am happy too. Oh Lord, what a weight off my shoulders. So now you can admit that Messer is better than Gesser. He's worse. Better. Worse, worse, worse. Better, better, better. He's worse. And to live heavily ever after. Champions. My, my heart is beating badly. I'm Shaitan Parashar as Ivan Visilvich. And I'm Alan Stoner. Marcel Shivam Srivastava as Stefan Stefanovic. Proposal? What proposal? Snigna Tavari playing Natalia Stefanova. Co curricular activities along with the academics. True education is the wholesome development of an individual. Therefore, let me take you to the next program where the children of the middle school bring on a program on the theme of education. Now, okay, I'm gonna 
and with that we also got a lesson and the lesson was that getting 99% or 98% is not everything and moving on with the list we have let's welcome upon the stage the little colonians once again who are here to display their acting and linguistic skills in the upcoming drama the pipe pipe of hamlet Once upon a time, there was a small town called Hamlet. This town rested on the banks of the river in Germany. The town was beautiful and full of happiness and joy. Thank you. 
chocolates, cookies and cakes. What please? Oh, we have no such a room. All we go to the mirror. Let's go and talk to the mirror. The citizens have come to the room. Call the mirror. jubilant performance and also we learn to stick to our word and never differ else there might be some con consequences now next we present before you flamenco dance it if music is the spice of life penso que un sueño para sido no volver a Pintaba las manos y la cara de azul Y de provisa de bien para mi vida me dieron Y me he hecho a la ciudad infinita
गुरु बिन शिष्य है अधूरा शिष्य बिन गुरु भी अधूरा दोनों मिल जाए जब सृष्टि का विकास होता है पूरा द स्टूडेंट एंड टीचर रिलेशनशिप इज लाइक अ ब्लाइंड पर्सन एंड ट्रस्टी स्टिक The teacher, much like the stick, provides support and guidance, helping the student navigate the path of knowledge. मेरा धनुष है मेरा धनुष अश्वत्थ थामा का जिसकी प्रत्यंचा खुद गुरु द्रोण ने चढ़ाई थी लेकिन आज जब मैंने दुर्योधन को निशस्त्र दीन आंखों में आंसू भरे हुए देखे मैंने मरोड़ दिया मरोड़ दिया अपने धनुष को कुचले हुए साफ साफ भयावह किंतु शक्तिहीन मेरा धनुष है ये मेरा अरे किसके बल पर लूंगा प्रतिशोध पिता की निर्मम हत्या का वन में भयानक इस वन में मैं भूल नहीं पाता युधिष्ठिर की वो घोषणा कि अश्वत्थ थामा मारा गया और अरे आप ठीक तो है ठीक है ना आप तुम अरे आप बैठे ना <laughs> अरे भाई इतने सालों के बाद ऐसे अचानक कैसे हो तुम मैं ठीक हूं आप कैसे हैं मैं कैसा हूं अरे भाई बिल्कुल इस मंच जैसा अकेला सुना और धूल से सना हुआ तुम तब से <coughs> नीचे बैठे थे क्या जी हाँ बस आपको परफॉर्म करते हुए देखना था क्या देखा यही ना कि अब मैं कितना कमजोर हो गया हूं जी नहीं ये कि अभी भी कितना कुछ सीखना बाकी है आपसे आप अब शाम यही बिताते हैं अरे भाई मेरा बस चले तो मैं पूरा दिन यही बिताऊ लेकिन क्या बताऊ काम इतने करने पड़ते हैं दिन भर किसी ना किसी काम में व्यस्त रहता हूँ पर शाम को कहीं ना कहीं से मैं अपने लिए दो घंटा निकाल लेता हूं और वहां से सीधा यहां पे आ जाता हूं पर सच में अरसे बाद आपको परफॉर्म करते हुए देखा है पर आज भी मेरा सवाल वही है आप जो भी कैरेक्टर करते हैं उसमें इतनी डेप्थ कहां से लाते हैं अरे भाई मेरा जवाब तो आज भी वही है कि जो कैरेक्टर करता हूं उससे कहीं ना कहीं मैं अपने आप को रिलेट कर पाता हूं फॉर एग्जाम्पल अश्वत थामा इस थिएटर के मंच पर मैंने अनगिनत कैरेक्टर करे हैं लेकिन अश्वत थामा एक ऐसा कैरेक्टर है जिससे मैं अपने आप को सबसे ज्यादा रिलेट कर पाता हूं उसकी बेचैनी लाचारी आक्रोश अरे और तो उसे भी मौका देकर परास्त करा गया आप अभी भी नाराज है ना मुझसे जल्दी उठाओ जल्दी उठाओ हेलो हाँ विजय हाँ बेटा हाँ सारे काम हो गए हाँ बिल्कुल हाँ हाँ मैं थिएटर से सीधा घर आऊंगा बिल्कुल भी लेट नहीं होऊंगा ठीक 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 चलो ठीक आपने ये सब नाटक अभी तक संभाल के रखे हैं अरे बरखुरदार ये कहना बेहतर होगा कि नाटकों ने मुझे अब तक संभाल कर रखा है वरना पता नहीं मेरा क्या से क्या हो जाता पगला घोड़ा है वतन अरे जनाब आधे अधूरे कुछ याद आया कैसे भूल सकता हूं अपनी पहली मुलाकात को यस कमेंट अरे बत्रा भेजे जूनियर आर्टिस्ट वाले बत्रा बोलिए आपका अपने नाटक के लिए कहना हीरो चाहिए हीरो नहीं एक्टर चाहिए एक्टर 
अरे वही वही अंदर है बत्रा ने बताया नहीं कि मैं वक्त का कितना पाबंद हूँ अरे बताया था मगर वो लंदन यादव का जन्मदिन था अरे लंदन यादव दोस्त है मेरा ये यूपी साहब वाला इसीलिए आने में देर हो गई वैसे ही नाटक वाटक करके तुम्हें मिलेगा क्या भाई अरे सच बताए ना ये सब नाटक वाटक छोटी चीज है हमका तो सिनेमा के पर्दे पर आना था सिनेमा के पर बत्रा साहब बोले की नाटक के कलाकार को जल्दी मौका मिलता है इसीलिए हम यहाँ चले आए वैसे बता साहब एक और बात बोले कि नाटक से बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिलता है पर हमका कचु सीखने की जरूरत नहीं हमका तो सब आवत है आपको सब आता है जी अरे वाह इतने साल के एक्सपीरियंस में पहली बार किसी ऐसे शख्स से पाला पड़ा है जिसे सब आता है तो क्या आप मेरे लिए पढ़ने का कष्ट करेंगे जरा अरे ये क्या है कॉन्ट्रैक्ट है पढ़ना क्या सीधा साइन कर देते हैं नाटक की स्क्रिप्ट है जिसे आपको नीचे बैठ पढ़ना होगा चलिए जल्दी पढ़िए ठीक है आधे अधूरे लेखक मोहन राकेश है मोहन राकेश की जोड़ी रेखा सलीम जावेद जैसी नहीं अरे घूटे पकते पकते फिर एक बार फिर से नई शुरुआत अरे भाई इट शुरुआत नॉट शुरुआत शुरुआत शुरुआत, शुरुआत। अरे हम भी तो वही कह रहे हैं अरे भाई तुम सबूत वाला शाह बोल रहे हो मुझे शिरोमणि वाला शाह सुनना है अरे आप जैसा बोल रहे हैं वो नहीं निकलता हमारी जुबान से लेकिन आपको तो सब आता है ना अरे हमका नहीं आवत कछु कछु नहीं आवत अरे अरे जरा जोर से बोलिए आगे पढ़िए चलिए अरे हमका नहीं आवत कछु भाई मेरा तुम्हारी टांग खींचने का कोई मकसद नहीं था लेकिन एक चीज हमेशा याद रखना जब तक तुम अपने इन घमंड के चश्मों को उतारोगे नहीं तुम्हें हर तरफ फरेब का अंधेरा ही अंधेरा दिखेगा शा, सा, नहीं बेटा एक चीज हमेशा याद रखना जब भी तुम शाह का उच्चारण करते हो हवा तुम्हारे भीतर से बिल्कुल इस प्रकार बाहर आती है शा, शा, वेरी गुड एक और बार शा, बहुत अच्छे अब इसको एक बार वाक्य में बोलो फिर एक बार फिर से नई शुरुआत वेरी गुड तुम धीरे धीरे सब कुछ सीख रहे हो चलो फिर हम चल कर दिखाओ अरे बेटा अरे अरे एक मिनट एक चीज तुम हमेशा याद रखना थिएटर में तुम्हारी चाल बिल्कुल तुम्हारे कैरेक्टर के अनुकूल होनी चाहिए जैसी तुम्हारी चाल वैसा तुम्हारा कैरेक्टर चलो जरा एक बार चलकर दिखाओ वेरी गुड वेरी गुड चलो जरा तुम मुझे ये ये वाले डायलॉग पढ़कर दिखाओ ये वाला ये तुम कहा जा रहे हो तुम्हारे बिना मैं यहाँ क्या करूंगा अरे 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 भाई मैं मानता हूँ कि एक दिन मैंने तुमसे कहा था कि तुम्हारी आवाज बहुत तेज होनी चाहिए पर जरा आगे वालों का तो लिहाज करो उनके तो कान के पर्दे ही फट जाएंगे ये तुम कहा जा रहे हो तुम्हारे बिना मैं यहाँ क्या करूँ नहीं बेटा ये बिल्कुल भी सही तरीका नहीं है बोलने का एक चीज हमेशा याद रखना थिएटर में वॉइस मॉड्यूलेशन और वेरिएशन दोनों ही बहुत जरूरी चीजें हैं अब लाओ जरा मैं पढ़ के दिखाऊ अब मैं इस एक डायलॉग को देखो कितने वेरिएशन देता हूँ वेरिएशन नंबर वन डर से ये, ये तुम कहा जा रहे हो तुम्हारे बिना मैं यहाँ क्या करूंगा वेरिएशन नंबर टू वो शरारत में अरे ये तुम कहा जा रहे हो तुम्हारे बिना मैं यहाँ क्या करूंगा और वेरिएशन नंबर थ्री गुस्से के साथ ये तुम कहा जा रहे हो तुम्हारे बिना मैं यहाँ क्या करूंगा तो तुम वेरिएशन और कॉर्डिनेशन से अपने बात को कहने का तरीका और उसका अर्थ दोनों ही बदल सकते हो समझे जी जनाब अब हम सच कह रहे हैं अगर आप नहीं मिलते तो हम यू मुंबई की गलियों में भटक रहे होते नहीं बेटा ऐसा बिल्कुल भी नहीं है ये सब तुम्हारी मेहनत का नतीजा है तुमने बहुत कम समय में ही बहुत कुछ सीख लिया है पर इसका शेयर भी तो आप ही को जाता है बस 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 अब ज्यादा मक्खन लगाने की जरूरत नहीं है याद है ना मैंने तुम्हें एक दिन आषार का एक दिन की स्क्रिप्ट दी थी जी शाम को उसको रिहर्सल पर लेते हुए आना अब की बार कालीदास का किरदार तुम करोगे पर क्या हम ये कर पाएंगे अरे बिल्कुल तुम ही कर पाओगे मुझे सबसे ज्यादा भरोसा तुम पर है याद है ना मैंने तुमसे एक दिन क्या कहा था कि ज्ञान एक विशाल समंदर की तरीके से है यदि रोज सुबह उठकर इस पे एक गोता मारोगे तो कुछ ना कुछ तो हाथ अवश्य आएगा पर अगर इस समंदर के किनारे बैठे रहोगे तो सिर्फ रेत और पत्थर ही हाथ लगेंगे याद है तुम्हें मेरी तमाम बातें याद है पर एक बात मैं आपसे हमेशा पूछना चाहता था 
میرا گواز میرا رویہ میرا رہن سہن یہ سب ایک جانور سے بھی بڑھتا تھا پھر بھی آپ نے مجھے اپنے گروپ میں شامل کیا کیوں ہاں تمہارے اندر بیٹا لاکھ برائیاں تھیں پر تمہارے اندر جو سب سے اچھی چیز تھی وہ تھی تمہاری ایمانداری تمہیں یاد ہے نا اس دن ریہرسل میں آتے وقت تمہیں ذرا سی دیر ہو گئی تھی تو تم نے بنا ڈرے سب کچھ سچ سچ بول دیا اور یہی اگر تمہاری جگہ کوئی اور ہوتا تو ریہرسل کے ڈر سے سب جھوٹ بولتا تو دس واز یور فرسٹ امپریشن اینڈ اٹ واز ویری نائس آن مائی آئیس آپ میری فلمیں دیکھتے ہیں کیا ہوا آپ ابھی بھی نہ آ مجھ سے دھت تیرے کی روز چھاتا لے کر گھر سے نکلتا تھا تو ایک بارش کی بوند نہیں ٹپکتی تھی اور آج دیکھو دیکھو جدا اور آج جب چھاتا گھر پر بھول آیا اتنی زور کی بارش ارے بھائی اگر یہ موسم اور انسان دونوں بول کر بدلتے تو جیون جینا کتنا سرل ہو جاتا نا دیکھیں مجھے نہیں لگتا کہ میں نے جو کچھ بھی کیا وہ غلط تھا <laughs> بیٹا تم جب بھی جھوٹ بولتے تھے تو اپنی ناک سہل آتے تھے بالکل یوں آئی ڈونٹ ریگریٹ مائی ڈیسیجن گڈ ویری گڈ بیکاز یو اسٹوڈینٹ آپ بہت ناراض ہیں نا مجھ سے بھائی آج ایک بات کا فیصلہ ہو جائے میں تم سے بالکل بھی ناراض نہیں ہوں آپ جب بھی جھوٹ بولتے تھے تب اپنی آئی ویو کھج لاتے تھے یوں اس کا مطلب ہم دونوں ایک دوسرے سے جھوٹ بول رہے ہیں ارے اندھیرے میں بدلتے جا رہے ہیں دوسرے کو ارے بھائی اس کرکش واستوکتا کے اجالے سے تو یہ فریب کا میرا کہیں بہتر ہے دیکھیں وہ واستوکتا چاہے کتنے بھی کرکش کیوں نہ ہو میں اسے جانے بغیر یہاں سے جانے والا نہیں اور نہ ہی میں آپ کو جانے دوں گا سنا آپ نے میں آپ کو کہیں نہیں جانے دوں گا پاپا اٹس مائی برتھ ڈے ٹوڈے وجے کیوں ضد کرتے ہو بھائی میرا جانا بہت ضروری ہے ارے جو لڑکا آپ کی بار کالیدا سا کردار کر رہا ہے وہ بالکل نیا ہے مجھے کافی پالش کروانا ہے ارے پاپا بس ایک دن کے لیے ڈائریکٹر کا لباس اتار کر پتا کا لباس نہیں پہن سکتے کیا وجے ایک دن تمہاری ماں نے بھی مجھ سے کچھ ایسی ہی ضد کری تھی وہ ہماری شادی کی پہلی سال گرا تھی اس کی ضد کی وجہ سے ہم لوگ ہوٹل گئے دوستوں کو بلایا خوب دھوم دھام سے سیلیبریشن کرا لیکن جب ہم لوگ ہوٹل میں تھے مجھے ایک ایسی بات پتا چلی جس سے میں ٹھٹر کر رہ گیا گرو جی کی بیٹے اور پتر بدھو کی کار ایکسیڈنٹ میں موت ہو گئی تھی ارے ان کی تو پوری دنیا ہی اجڑ گئی تھی لیکن پھر بھی وہ اگلے دن ریہرسل پر موجود تھے میں بالکل ٹھٹر سا گیا بیٹا پاپا آپ کی نجی زندگی کا سایہ تک نہیں پڑتا ہے تھیٹر پر پپر پر تھیٹر کا سایہ آپ کی نجی زندگی پر پڑتا ہے وجے کا کیا تم کیوں نہیں سمجھتے ہو اگر میں آج تھیٹر نہیں گیا تو میرے کرداروں پر غلط چھاپ پڑے گی اور پھر وہ یہی چھاپ اپنی آنے والی پیڑھی کو اور آنے والی پیڑھی اپنی آنے والی پیڑھی کو دیں گی ایسے تو تھیٹر کا بھوشیہ کبھی سنہرا نہیں ہو پائے گا تو پاپا کو تھیٹر کے بھوشیہ کی فکر ہے بیٹے کے ورتمان کی کچھ نہیں پڑی وجے انگریزی میں کہاوت ہے واٹ کین ناٹ بی کیور مسٹ بی انڈیور بے فالتو میں میرا انتظار مت کرنا مجھے آنے میں دیر ہوگی کھانا کھا کر سو جانا پاپا انگریزی میں ایک اور کہاوت ہے بیٹر لیٹ دین نیور ہیپی برتھ ہیپی برتھ ڈے جناب لیجے کیک کاٹیے ارے بھائی آج ہمارا جنم دن ہے کیا ارے بھول گئے کیا آج اکیس دسمبر لیجے لیجے کیک کاٹیے ارے بھائی اب میرے اس جیون میں جشن منانے لائق تو کچھ رہ ہی نہیں گیا اور کہیں نہ کہیں اس کی وجہ نہیں ہونا تم بھول گئے اس دن کتنی سرلتا سے تم یہ کہہ کر چلے گئے تھے کہ میں نے کوئی کانٹریکٹ نہیں سائن کرا دیکھیں میں نے کوئی کانٹریکٹ نہیں سائن کیا ہے اور نہ ہی میں چابی کا کھلا نہ ہوں کہ جو کوئی چابی بڑھتا رہا ہے میں ناشتا رہا ہوں میں جا رہا ہوں یہ پھر کا چھوڑ کے لیکن بجے تو بتاتے جاؤ دیکھیں مجھے اور اس بار میں بہت ایک بات نہیں کرنی میں جا رہا ہوں تھیٹر چھوڑ گئے نمستے وجہ تو بتاتے جاؤ ارے بھائی کم سے کم آج تو وجہ بتا دو اس دن تو بینا بتائے چلے گئے تھے تو چلیے آج ہم ایک دوسرے کو سچ بتائی دیتے ہیں آپ مجھے اور میں آپ کو
विजय क्या हुआ बेटा अब तक तुम सोए नहीं अरे पापा क्या करूं नींद ही नहीं आ रही है एक्साइटमेंट इतनी है ना सोचिए ना के एल कॉलेज में मेरा एडमिशन होगा महाराष्ट्र का नंबर वन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज है पर... अरे पापा कॉलेज पुणे में है तो क्या हुआ मैं आपसे मिलने आया करूंगा ना बेटा अरे पापा सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम तो पैसों की थी ना और उसे तो आप सॉल्व कर ही चुके हैं थैंक यू पापा थैंक यू मैं वो पैसे किसी को दे चुका हूँ क्या पूरे दो लाख रुपए बेटा उसे बहुत जरूरत थी उन पैसों की पापा आप ऐसा कैसे कर सकते हैं ये मेरी जिंदगी का सवाल था अरे भाई वो भी किसी की जिंदगी का सवाल था मैंने दे दिए पापा विजय ये तुम कैसी बातें कर रहे हो हमने जो कुछ भी सीखा है उन्हीं से सीखा है और तुम हमें उन्हीं को धोखा देने को कह रहे हो कैसे कैसा धोखा अरे धोखा तो वो दे रहे हैं तुम सबको एक बात मुझे बताओ तुम गांव से यहाँ पर क्यों आए थे डेढ़ सौ रुपए पर शो का नाटक करने या फिल्म स्टार बनने अरे बाहर की दुनिया में जाकर तो देखो कितना कुछ कमाना बाकी है मेरा एक ही सपना था के, के एल कॉलेज में इंजीनियरिंग करना चाहता था मैं मेरे पापा ने मेरा वो सपना भी कुचल दिया अरे अगर आपके अस्तित्व को कोई अपमान करे तो आप सह सकते हैं मगर अगर आपके अस्तित्व को कोई नकारे ये सहना मुमकिन नहीं होता और मेरे पापा मेरे अस्तित्व को नकार रहे हैं एक तुम ही हो जो मुझे मेरे पापा लौटा सकते हैं हाँ मेरे पापा को सबसे ज्यादा लगाव तुमसे है हो सकता है कि अगर तुम उन्हें धोखा दे के थिएटर छोड़ के चले जाओ तो वो ये सदमा बर्दाश्त ना करें और वो हमेशा के लिए थिएटर छोड़ दे हाँ प्लीज मुझे मेरे पापा लौटा दो प्लीज मुझे मेरे पापा लौटा दो एक तरफ गांव में तुम्हारे पिता की बीमार थे दूसरी तरफ विजय के एडमिशन की डेट निकली जा रही थी और अचानक से तुम्हारे थिएटर को छोड़ जाने ने मुझे बिल्कुल तोड़ दिया था मुझे माफ कर दीजिए मुझे माफ कर दीजिए आपने सिर्फ मेरे लिए अपने बेटे का सपना कुर्बान कर दिया कैसे सचमुच विश्वास करना मुश्किल है लेकिन मेरे भी जज्बात थे मुझे माफ कर दो मुझे माफ कर दीजिए आप मुझे माफ कर दीजिए मैंने वो पैसे तुम्हारे पिताजी की तबीयत खराब होने की वजह से नहीं दिए थे अरे वो तो मेरा एक स्वार्थ था अरे मैंने सोचा कि अगर वो पैसे मैं तुम्हें दे दूंगा तो तुम यही थिएटर में रहोगे और यही मेरे पास रहोगे कभी मुझसे दूर नहीं जाओगे लेकिन तुम चले गए इसने मुझे बिल्कुल तोड़ दिया माफ कर दीजिए मुझे अरे भाई काश में विजय को थोड़ा सा प्यार दे पाता काश मैं उसको थोड़े सपने को पूरा कर पाता अरे भाई मुझे तो ये नहीं समझ में आता कि कलाकार अपनी कला में इतने व्यस्त कैसे हो जाते हैं अरे जबकि सबसे बड़ी कला तो अपने को खुश रखने में है कार है भैया भैया पहला खोलिए की भूमिका में अनुकांशन मिश्रा ये मेरा धनुष है धनुष अश्वत्थामा का थैंक यू पुत्र की भूमिका में सानिध्य जैन पापा इट्स माई बर्थडे टुडे थैंक यू अभिनेता की भूमिका में दक्ष रस्तोगी मुझे हमका तो सब आवाज है सब कुछ धन्यवाद That was a great story and was very well acted. And now it's time for the most awaited performance of the evening. Are you ready for something super cute and fun? The little friends from the play school are here to show us their super fusion dance. It's like a magical mix of moves that will make you smile. So let's all give a big cheer and lots of claps for these tiny dancers. Get ready.
That was a great performance. A big round of Two stops. Left foot, 
two stumps. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Crisscross. Chop, chop, real smooth. Let's go to work. To the left. Take it back now, y'all. Two hops this time. Two hops this time. Right foot, two stumps. Left foot, two stumps. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Ladies and gentlemen, what a soulful performance they were. Now, as we move forward with an exciting part of this evening, where we acknowledge achievements of our brilliant achievers, I request your attention as we announce the recipients of the well-deserved awards in home, ICSC, and ISC categories. To do the honor, I would like to invite our Honorable Chief Guest, Raja Bimlend Mohan Pratap Singh, Honorable President Sir, and members of Managing Committee. I would also request Principal Sir to accompany them. I would like to tell you that these awards are for the session 2022-23. Firstly, we would like hmm. Next, the award goes sir, to Akshita Shukla, sir, sir, sir. Ms. Akshita Shukla of Class 2, but also in dance, allocation, and all other co-curricular activities. Next, I will call upon sir. Ms. Muzakira Taslim of Class 3. Just like Akshita, Muzakira, is not just good in studies, but also is a budding poetess. She writes beautiful poetry herself. Next, I will call S.M. Abdullah Ali Khan of Class 5A. S.M. Abdullah Ali Khan of Class 5A. He was the head boy of Keep Applauding Our Young Achievers. Next, I will call Altaf Hassan Rizvi, class six. Altaf is not just good in studies, 0.56 percentage in class six. Next, I will call Vilakshan Mishra of class seven. He secured 89.13 percentage, and he is very good in Hindi poetry as well. An excellent orator. Next, prize goes to Daksh Rastogi of Class 8. You must have noticed him. Chuck, he's not just good in studies, but excellent, excellent actor. He secured 95.94 percentage in Class 8. Next, Sorry, I will call sir, upon stage Yug Divedi of Class 9A. You have secured 96. Next, I would call Aradhya Rastogi of Class 9B, a good student as well as a good sportsman and a good orator. Excellent orator, he has secured 78. Next, I will call Prakhar Verma of Class 11. He's an excellent orator, a poet, and an excellent person indeed. He has secured, I will bring to your notice, that he is a na national meritorious student of class 10 last year. A huge round of applause for Prakar Verma, a very helpful person, and again, a meritorious student of class 10. A huge round of applause, parents. Please keep applauding as your heartfelt applause serves as a catalyst motivating our students to consistently. Next, 
I have the honor to announce the achievers who have surpassed the impressive benchmark of scoring more than 90% in their ICSC and ISC examinations. These individuals have exhibited an unwavering work coupled with dedication leads to success. Let us recognize and applaud Mohammad Maruf Nazar, who has scored 96.4 for ISC board session 2022-23. Next, Anshub Verma. He has scored 92.2% in science category, an excellent debate. Congratulations, Anshub. Next, I would call Anshaj Kapoor. He says, Parents, please keep applauding. Your motivation is what keeps our students working and give us performances after performances. Next, I will call Zahid Zamal. Again, starting with ISC. Abhuveer Handa. He has scored 92.50 from commerce side. To continues uninterrupted as this continuous applause fosters a spirit of determination and excellence, guiding our students on their remarkable academic journey. Your involvement and encouragement in science category. today I would say and has been awarded a scholarship for achieving the highest mark in commerce in the ICSC and ISC examination. Please join me in our 12 commerce group. <coughs> Thank you so much sir. This issues to the proud parent who are receiving award on behalf of his parent of Ankisha Rastogi. Raja Bimlin Mohan Pratap Singh. Raja Bimlin Mohan. Thank you so much, sir, for doing the honor their exemplary achievements. Your dedication to learning and excellence serves as an inspiration to us all. Thank you so much. To the aspects of personal development, opening doors to opportunities and expanding one's knowledge base. It reflects dedication, discipline and the ability that education goes beyond grades, encompassing critical thinking, creativity, and goes to President BIA Raja Anand Singh of Mankapur for his invaluable guidance and unwavering support. Sir, we are deeply grateful for your constant encouragement and leadership. Next, a heartfelt thanks ST extend to our esteemed managing committee members, Vice President BIA Raja Sahab Shibgar, uh, Manager Kumar Manish Vardhan Singhji, Assistant Manager Kumar Vinay Kumar Singh, Raja Biren Singh Parmarji, Raja Anil Pratap Singh, Shri Vasiur Rehman Sir, Sir Rai Sarveshwar Baliji, Kumar Dhyanpal Singh Ji, and Shri Vasudent Pratap Singh. Sir, your tireless efforts have been instrumental in making this event, this event a resounding success. We cannot overlook the immense support of our parents who have honored us with their presence today. Sir, parents, your unwavering support is a testament to the success of our students. A big round of applause to our exceptional principal, Mr. Sachidanand Singh Ji, whose leadership and guidance have been invaluable to us. To our talented participants, your performances have captivated our hearts and showcased your remarkable dedication. You are the true star of this evening and we thank you for, our, for your outstanding contributions. Here I would request all the parents to give a huge round of applause 
for all the participants who performed for you today. Thank you so much. This event success is the culmination of months of meticulous planning and hard work. Our heartfelt appreciation goes to our dedicated students, committee members, and volunteers who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes. We also extend our gratitude to our faculty members, non-teaching staff, media partner, and the talented Mr. Ravi Kapoor, Alex Falvinian for capturing the essence of this event. As we conclude this memorable evening, let us carry forward the spirit of excellence and camaraderie that we have experienced today. Once again, a heartfelt thank you to the Chief Guest Raja Bimlen Mohot Pratap Mishra and all attendees for gracing this occasion and making it truly remarkable. Your presence has left an indelible mark on our heart and your support means a word to us. Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you so much.
शुभ नामे जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे जाहे तब जय गाथा जन जन मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे At the library lawn for tea. Where conversations will bloom like flowers in a garden. Thank you for being a part of this celebration, where education meets culture and friendship bloom. Let the spirit of all men roar with passion and dedication. Thank you.